Hey guys, welcome back. So today we will see the overview and some basic installation and requirements of Vue.js version of Hope UI. As you know, there are many different versions available for Hope UI. We will be coming with their introductions and overview as well. So stay connected with us and let's continue with this video. Hope UI Pro's Vue.js admin template is modular and lightweight framework, which is filled with amazing pre-builds and library. So you can make your project in a faster form. It has creative map with the leaflet functionality. Your configuration can be done with the view router. You can create amazing visualization with the Apex chart and also you can stay up to date with the view CLI, which is so amazing. So let's start with the requirement of Vue.js. So we will start with what we need first. So first of all, we need the Node.js. So we will uh, download it for the Windows version, which is 16.15.0, which is LTS. It is most recommended for you guys. And maybe you can use it from 14 to 16 version. It depends on you. And you can just download it. And we will use the popular coding editor software, which is our Visual Studio Code. So we'll just get it from this side. And then uh, these are some plugins that is necessary for starting our project. So you should definitely look out that you have already installed them. So this was some basic requirements that we need before starting the Vue.js version. Now let's see the installation. So we will go in the terminal and we'll just simply write npm install or i. And you can just wait for the uh, dependencies to be downloaded. So just wait here. It will take some time depending on your device. After the command is done successfully, we'll catch this folder that is node module and in which all the dependencies will be available there. And also there will be another uh, module that is package-log.json which will also available in it. So now to run this project, we have to simply write npm run so and it will run your command and it will take some time according to your uh, devices and after some time it will successfully be run and you can just simply click on this local host that we have and just go and watch the preview and this is the hope you are Vue.js version and you can see it's amazing so after the successful run of our project now let's see the folder structure of our Vue.js version how it is arranged so you can see firstly in the visual code we have node module which contains all the dependencies available for this project. Then there is a public uh, folder in which our main index.html is present. You can access it from there. And then uh, below that there is src which consists of assets and in the assets there is some images, modules, there are different modules available for this Hope UI version which contains image and its scss. There are different different modules like uh, e-commerce, appointment, etc. So you can check them out. And the same is, uh, there is also available the vendor which contains leaflet plugin, which is important as we talked about earlier. Then there are all these actions available for this, uh, our theme. And below that we have components where all the components are there which you can use in our project. Then there are direct use which contains slider tab which can be used for the design part. Then there are layouts. All the layouts are available for us here. There are gas layouts. Then there are menu styles. There are different type of menu styles available in OPI. They all are here. And there are modules layout, which is also available and our main default layout. And after the layout modules, we have all the locals, which contains all the different kind of languages available in it. Then there is plugins. And uh, below that, there are routers, which contains the router module. Then there is store for the settings and e-commerce as well. And in e-commerce, there are all the JS available and also index.js and same in the settings. Then there are views in which all the pages are available like admin, auth, dashboard, etc. There's a design system which consists of sections. There are all kinds of section available which have been given in the design system, components, and then there is error page, extra page, then there is forms, icons, maps, and different kind of module which are available in our Hope UI. They all are available here. Then we have the plugins which have been used in our Hope UI module. Then we have special pages, tables, users, and widget pages. Then we have the blank page too. And after the blank page, we have app.u, which is the entry point and where the DOM is run. Then we have i18 and.js, which is used for the multiple language. 
and then there is the main js which contains the app mount and there are the other folders which is useful for our project and then we have packet.json where all the dependencies are placed and you can see them all here so this was our folder structure for the vue.js version now let's start some basic customizing so this is our dashboard of hope you can see the basic widgets and components are used in it and you can customize them all with using our live customizer so on the right hand side you can see we have the live customizer and these are all the settings available for it and you can see there are some advanced settings and all that stuff available firstly we will change the theme you can change it to auto dark or light and changing it to dark then we have the mode for ltr and rtl you know what it is i'm just using ltr then we have color customizer we have made some presets for you guys but uh, we have also the option for custom colors which you can use for primary and secondary color choosing your own color i'm just doing some basic randomly changing a color anything that looks good now we will move to the main menu and i will just change it to dark and mini and i will just change it to different different types of active styles and then we will make the foot a sticky and we also have some advanced settings we will just change it to no animation then flat and the main part is the copy config we can copy all this setting that we have done with just clicking on this button which is so useful for us and you know uh, this is the most amazing feature we have that is copy config let me clear something out so this copy config option is only given in our live demo you have to go to our live demo and make changes in copy config and then only you can change it in your code we don't have a uh, copy config in your paid version because now piration is so common and to save our code from it we have done this so just cooperate with us and you can follow this step now let's continue by clicking on copy config and we will just go in our visual studio code uh, you can see in the src in the store and in it we have the settings and in that we have state.js and in that state.js we have this already written code you can simply just remove that code and paste what we have copy from the copy config and all the changes will be done by just running the command and it will take some time and it will be successfully done you can simply click on the local link and go and you can see these are the changes we can see they are amazing and this copy config is so easy and it saves you a lot of time so just try it out now let's move to the code and if you want any value of this state.js then you can simply go in header components and you can see there is one line constant font size and which has store.getters you can get any value of state.js from there first you can see uh, there is a settings and you need the app name and it is hope ui and you can just go in it and you can find it uh wait we will see the header neva and we can simply get this value from the store getter syntax this syntax will help you to get the current value that it has so or else if you don't want to do it directly we also have the option for doing it manually you can simply go in default sidebar dot vue and there we have this store dot dispatch option which can be helpful to get the value of our state objects or else you can simply uh, use this whole syntax to finding the value this both can be useful for you guys and if you don't know which value you have to put in it you can simply check out our documentation or this respective video and you can get vue.js version it is so good so this is the end of our vue.js version you can see it was so amazing and fast you can also check it out and there are many videos which has been posted and will be posted in the future about the hope ui so you can get the guide from it and if you are not a professional and don't want to buy our pro version you can simply go and check out our free version that is hope ui open source dashboard ui kit and you can use it and have fun and you can like this video subscribe it and click the bell icon and you can share it to your friends and our developer community so they can see the future of admin ui so till then as always